Welcome everyone, it's Faye vs. Drake of our it's time for some more. Great Jedi Legends. Uh, today we are going to be doing some really nasty stuff in Doom Tower. And trying to climb. Yes. Um, we are going to be doing some Spirit Affinity Borgoth, which sounds fun in theory, but in reality is a major pain in the ass. Um, I might want to bring anti-heal. Let's try it. I, I'm still trying to think of a team comp that would work versus this nut bar. Because I, I only only one of them had a shield set. Trying like a new strategy. So like she has the shield set. She can block the debuff if needed, but she not necessarily block the debuff. Bore two is here to do some BS. He... Transferring all your things. And I have a uh, Taragi in a destroy set, so that will help. Hoping that was gonna land. The number one thing I don't want him to get a hold of is the stinking. Okay, what he's gonna do is he's gonna take hold of. Um... I'm gonna try to heal him. And then I'm gonna try to later on transfer the debuff. Put the heels. I think my main problem is I don't have
See, because I put Taragi in gonna destroy, so... See, he can't technically do it anymore, because... Draghi's got the destroy, so I can transfer over. So I can't, you can't keep the debuff on. And I can decrease his... The block is debuff there. So by that logic, it should be able to But he only stole the debuff of reflect damage. That should give us the way in. Even if he steals all the ability to heal, he still can't win this. I think. Because I can I've I've permanently increased his maximum power. Destroy set. Not that I wanna keep him in it, but yeah, he can't. Trying, but as you can see, clearly see, destroy gear is the way to go. Even though it's destroy Taragi, it still works. That's what this like. All right, I could transfer. This is how it's done. Then we can get a shield, and then slam you. Yeah! Scarab King's dead! Tell ya! But you know what the problem now is? I don't have any gold keys. Oh, that sucks. Um, what we're gonna do now is when I can continue on my crusade to uh, level up Berengiri. Uh, but we're going to do it with a little bit of a twist. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, suckers who need help in here and do a little bit of that. And then, of course, we're going to do a bit of clan boss, a bit of fixing the other account. Yeah. Because I can't go any further. What was the other secret room? I'm trying to remember what the other secret room Oh, HP champions. Let's try it. Okay, first, first things first. We have to figure out what kind of champion Burngiri is. First, we'll, we'll beat this section. Of campaign. Uh, we're doing it also to look for that because I did use some values to upgrade. But not that I regret that because Burangiri is incredibly powerful. I don't want to just show you a bunch of Brimstone Pass. It's not. That doesn't feel accurate. I, mean, I did some earlier today, obviously. But I don't want to show you just the demon world because this area, this campaign is so much more. Uh, there's like areas for every faction. You know? Now, every faction except for the faction that I regret the most them not having in here. And you know what that is? I regret them not having the 
Shadow Kid faction. Why is there no Shadow Kid faction in campaign? Or even Nightmare campaign? Why can't they have Shadow Kid faction in Nightmare campaign? Why? Why can there not be Shadow Kid faction in Nightmare campaign? I don't understand why that isn't. Yes. But yeah. Um, I'm actually thinking of farming Bommel. So yeah, my strat, if you couldn't tell what, what, what my strat was, my strat was to um, take uh, some of the regular gear off of Turagi and swap it with destroy gear and have Turagi mess with it. Now, I don't want to leave it that way because it drastically reduces his ability to moment um, so I am going to swap it uh, unfortunately since I've been grinding on this account earlier, I'm gonna go pick up that energy because the thing about grinding especially stuff like trying to help it burns energy a lot of it. that thing it burns a lot of energy to improve It's actually very repetitive. Oh wow, nice. Not so nice. I don't like that character. I don't like that character. He's not as useful as you might think he is. He really isn't. Okay. So where is Turagi? Yeah, I know. I'm not keeping him in his destroy set. Because if I keep him in his destroy set, we are going to run into problems. There's a reason I had all that other stuff on him. There's a reason. It's because that stuff allows him to survive unholy amounts of damage. That's why. Most content, you want him to survive an unholy amount of damage. What does that stop him doing? Surviving an unholy amount of damage. So that's not ideal. That really isn't. I'm gonna swap it back. This is as fun as that sounds, having him all in just that other gear, you need the resolve. You need that tree in order for him to function correctly in like other content. Because the, the problem with having destroy gear Turagi um, as I pull up. Uh, well, everyone except Commander is, and maybe Lemur is like, and maybe Zephyr Sniper there. Straight food, but most of that's just food for me anyway. Um. But yeah, I had him in Destroy Gear for a reason. It wasn't for this, it's because I needed. I needed someone to chip out the boss. Because if I didn't I didn't chip out the boss, I was gonna get wrecked. Mm, I'm a little bit afraid I need my relic reminder. Because if I don't, I'm going to be ruined. Because the problem is, I have a feeling, and she's a feeling, that uh, my 
team is going to need a reser. So, floating relic. We will be a force working towards getting him to rank six. Marina. I just, I personally like to use. Hard to kill this guy. I'm gonna provoke him. I don't know what he is. He's definitely annoying. All right, we got to log into these other accounts. Hopefully, they don't screw me over. I just wanted to grab my 100K, though, man. Man! And I have to go help my other accounts. Like, I have to help my dear Scylla the Drakes, which I finally found her, man. I finally found the champion. She's not dead. She lives. That's why I was so freaking hyped. Because I thought she didn't exist. I thought I'd never get her. I thought I'd have to... Or like... More like I thought she was a pay-to-win champ. That I'd have to do some stupid mission or some shit. Apparently not. Okay. Um, we've been saving up our... Ancients on here. We got 20 Ancients. We're not gonna blow any of them. Because this is what the theme of this account is in the first place. Saving the higher shards, I'd be a dumb ass not to go with the theme. Um, we are going to go back to hard and start three starring this stuff. Because that's what I gotta do. Gotta start three starring it. Now I know we just did this stage, but the stage is useful for a lot of things. For those of you who are unaware. Um, we're also gonna do clan boss on here. Easy clan boss. It's the only account I currently have that can actually attack easy clan boss and not piss my clan off because my other account will quite literally piss my clan off because it will kill the boss. The other accounts will kill the boss. Given multiple keys, they will kill the boss. Like that account I had with the Taragi on it? Yeah, that would kill the boss. Straight up, that would kill the boss. 
not, not, no joke. That would kill the boss. Uh, Yep. Now, if you wondered why I used Taragi and Sanguinia, I did it for a reason. Now, this, this account does have to sit out Doom Tower because it doesn't have the magical champs needed. Only one account I have has the magical champions, and that is the amazing Dolphin account because I've got Sanguinia, I've got Kuragi, I have Burangiri, who I'm still improving. I've got a lot. I've got a lot. That's a that for. Even on this account, he sucks. That, that, sh that should give you a clue of how bad Conqueror is. He's even bad on this account, and this account's little. This account is puny. Still not very good. Like, he doesn't offer shields. All he offers is a block revive. I suppose I can use him on here for the block revive. Like, he's really not. He's really not valuable. There are uncommon champions like this man, Armager, who are more valuable than him. Uncommons! Uncommons, meaning anyone can get an Armager. You can get Armager at any time. It's not like a champion that's hard to get. No, anyone can get Armager. Even people never pulling an Ancient or a Void Shard in their life can get an Armager. Ugh. <laughs> the challenge isn't getting the Armager. The challenge is leveling them up. But yeah. Seder is similar. Seder is good in a lot of content. Anyone can get a Seder. He is good from Durham or from Mystery Shards. And he'll be great in fact. Whoa! I just one-shot him. I just one-shot him. Yeah, I'm uh, using this process to get the rewards and to level up my Seder. Um, when he's done... I'm gonna start leveling some other people. Yep. Like, you know. Ninja? You wanna ring a bell? I've ignored Ninja on here entirely. I've ignored him entirely. I haven't even bothered to mess with him at all. We are going to be continuing on trying to three star all of this. I will be doing well. See, the problem with the other two accounts is that the only stuff worth doing, mostly, except for that Argonaut mission, is literally just farming brutal. Most of it, it's only even worth farming brutal at the moment. Like here, it's even here, Farming Brutal is now open. Uh, but here there's actually still benefits from fighting. Notice how I said fighting, not farming. Fighting. And then in some accounts, the only benefit they can gain is by fighting Nightmare. Which haven't entirely got to that point on any account, but the closest to that is the bottom. My first account, not quite. Not quite. Br Brutal is useful for a lot, because what Brutal's good for is efficient food grinding. And food is one of the most important things. It, yeah, level of food grinding. Like, that's true. We're also leveling the little bit. Because there's a lot of that going on in a lot of different accounts. These lovely, lovely level champs and 
Nightmare is only good for six star champs and above to their uh, leveling up prowess. Slowly but surely. Three star hard. These little birdies and this crazy gray toy. use up all my energy um, on there so that I can pick up the reward. Uh, how's the daily looking? Um, yeah, we'll just pick it up from the daily. I still, I still have to get him to 50. I want to try to use up the energy I've got and then go for the daily quest energy. The thing I want to watch out for in this account is because this account is, uh, Fragile on the gems. Why? This account of my three, and I can check the other one to see if it has a max gem on it. I'm pretty sure it's the only of my three accounts that does not have a max gem. So that's something to know. That is something to note. It's very hard to get a max gem mine. Maxing the gem mine hurts a lot. Because it takes a long time for the gems to come back. Like a long time. So that's that's why maxing the gem mine doesn't isn't easy. I mean the gems go up each day. Not that I don't do it. As you can clearly see, I do it. I actually do it. You're like, ah, you're not gonna do it. You have no guts. Oh, yeah, well, really? Oh, really? I do have the guts. You thought wrong. You thought I wasn't gonna do it. You thought that wrong. I did that just to prove it. Yep. I do want to check to see if my other account has that max gem mine. The one, you know, the one that I think. Look that damage. Because this account's got plenty of progress anyway. It doesn't really need a lot of gems in it yet. Gems for energy. It doesn't really need to go. Jeez. 
because it's going to be a long time anyway before we get enough food for that. I'm still probably ahead of my plan. I'm still probably ahead of my clan. Gonna be honest. Like, let, let, let's check our clan for a moment, shall we? I'm in silver. Is anyone else here in silver? Not even a chance. Nope. All in bronze one. On top of that, I've got 60. Does anyone else besides my own accounts? Does anyone besides my accounts have 60s? No. I'm the only one. And all three of my accounts have it. All three. Yep. Yeah, you thought. You thought. All right, we're going to do a clan boss. And call it an episode for now. We cannot do Doom Tower on here. Even if we get to 40, we, we can't do Doom Tower. Because we don't have the squad necessary. You need like multiple rank 60s or 60s. Especially this version. This version is not noob friendly in any way, shape, or form. The only reason my other account can do it is because it's not exactly a new account. It's over 100 days in. I know it has some noob elements, but so does my 180 day account. It's not really a noob account anymore. It's actually quite a prestigious account because it had a lot of good pulls early on. Yeah, it's actually in a pretty dang good spot. Granted, I can't progress from Doom Tower on there right now. This is why I'm doing this because no. But yeah, all of my accounts. I am a cut above my clan. Cut above my clan. Nobody in my clan even has a rank six. Never mind a sixty. And I have a sixty on every account, and four sixties on two of them. So yeah, I am a cut and a half above my clan. I put my heart, and soul, and everything I've got into this game. That's why I'm a better than. Me. That's why. Because I I work very hard. You're like, why did you get to normal clan boss? Why can you terrorize easy on so many of your accounts? It's because I work extremely hard. That's why. So I was asking that. I work every day. Every day. I do the dailies and I go beyond the daily. I work very hard. There is no substitutes for hard work in this game. That's the thing. People are like, how do you get legendaries? You work hard. That's how. And you pull shards and you work hard. And eventually it will come to you. But it, like legendaries are intended to be hard, but sometimes I can find that they're, they feel harder than they should be. I mean, I don't mind getting a royal guard. I, 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 I feel royal guard should be a legendary. It's not, but I got one yesterday. I love royal guard. I, I don't I don't mind that the sacred had a royal guard in it. Like, I've always wanted that champion. I wanted that champion more than almost any other champion except for Scylla the Drakes, Arbiter, Rogni, Maneater, and 
Drexstar Blood Twin. But I have to go farm on Drexstar Blood Twin later today. So yeah, this clan boss team comp, it's gone a little bit, but it's not where it can be. Like, if I get my Frozen Banshee and other champion in line, Frozen Banshee, Frozen Banshee or Grave Chill Killer, Frozen Banshee and Ninja going, you should be smacking this thing really bad. Um, I'm still going to use Seder and Arena in a variety of content, it's just he's not the greatest for Clan Boss because he doesn't put HP burn or, or other stuff on this boss. Because you want, you want burns on this boss or poison or mold. You want burn for the boys. It's the fact that we don't have a lot of burn. Only source of, of burns or poison is Kale. We can only take that so far. And our defense is not very good. It's not like my other account that has literally a 60 Tarag, a backup on a heal, a backup, a backup, and a backup. On a backup. I don't have that. I still did 1.84 mil. Still. Despite all that, and I have to do other stuff with that, but yeah, this is just part one of many. Yep. <laughs>